हाउ समन कैन पिक्चर और इमेजिन रैग टू पुटिंग इन टू द सोल्यूशन मेथोडिकली वी वॉन्ट टू अंडरस्टैंड रैग रैग हैज जनरली टू पार्ट वन इज हाउ योर नॉलेज बेस इज देर वेर आई कैन सर्च द डेटा फ्रॉम सेकंड इज हाउ द क्वेरी एंड आउटपुट पार्ट वर्क सो द फर्स्ट पार्ट ऑफ रैग इज यू हैव ऑल द नॉलेज बेस विच इज द पी डी एफ टेक्सट डेटा डेट यू गॉट फ्रॉम मे बी क्रॉलिंग थ्रू योर वेबसाइट और मे बी योर कस्टमर क्वेरीज एनी थिंग एनी डेटा डेट इज देर दट डेटा वुड भी कलेक्टेड एट अ प्लेस एंड देन दैट डेटा would be chunked chunked means it would be created into smaller parts not too small that it loses a meaning and not too long that it is not serving mm-hmm. the purpose of running into the context right so you should take this data and understand there are different kind of methodologies and approaches for chunking this data if you are writing a piece of code then maybe at a functional level you are going to do chunking you have this chunk in text or any other thing then you are going to convert this chunk into a vector embedding vector embedding is nothing but what is a semantic representation in nd space for this particular content so for example there is something called as dog and then there is something called as maybe wolf and then there is something called as a cat so if you measure wolf wolf will come somewhere nearby to dog as compared to cat in this vector i would say in this vector space right so this it contains a semantical meaning so you have now showed everything you have your knowledge base ready now the second part is now the user is querying something that please tell me what is in my doodle list tomorrow so now what your lm will do is it has to take this content search this particular query convert it into a vector embedding and then search it into the vector database that you have created so it will give all the relevant knowledge 